The road from Pai to Chiang Mai is a stomach-churning, nausea-inducing, blood pressure-increasing, 80-mile-long nightmare. According to legend, the road has 762 hairpin turns and is one of the most dangerous stretches in all of Thailand. Okay, so we've just arrived. Um, we're about 10 kilometers from Pai. We've just been on the most, oh, this road, you would never imagine it. It's, uh, it's 84 kilometers, I believe, um, from, from Chiang Mai. And it's 782 turns. Um, oh. so, yeah, you've never seen anything like it. It's so windy and so, and like I don't get, I never get, never get car sick, but I felt, I feel a bit sick now, but we're nearly there, so that's the main thing. A little big strawberry. <laughs> See you like that? Good. Oh look, strawberry farm. And there's a strawberry farm down there. Love it, here, put that one on. This is for the, uh, the coronavirus. Oh, there's no strawberries. Not today. Not in flower. Huh? What that? What? Strawberry. We don't have Maybe too late or oh, too early. Just got a strawberry shake then. That was our uh, 80 baht. What did some buy here? What did yeah. you buy? We bought some strawberry wine for your dinner tonight. Yeah. You try that dinner? Yeah. We get pissed off that. Um, and some strawberry jam. Everything's strawberry. What happens when no strawberries in season? Okay, so we just arrived in Pai. And this is our room. This is our room for the night. I've booked two nights we've booked here. So this is a thousand baht a night, so which is what? Uh, thousand baht, which is $40 Australian, $50 Australian. Um, so yeah, so it looks quite, you know, it's pretty small, but it's pretty much all you need. Um, it seems like an old town, so that, you know, you haven't got your big, is that bathroom in here? Bathroom, toilet, in here you got a shower. Out here you've got like a like a veranda. But, and you can I think Joe and Gift are here. So you can keep them up all night. So they're in that room. So you can so you can have a big party on the veranda here. I think oh there are separate rooms. So so yeah, so this is great. You like this song? Yeah. Yeah? You feeling better? From the car trip for 780 bloody corners. So, so I think that's quite good for a thousand baht a night. What do you guys think? Got a TV there? Aircon. Aircon's there. I think they're 1500 baht a night. These villas up here. And uh, we stayed up there for a thousand baht a night. So, uh, 
but it's really lovely gardens. Let's give you a quick look. I put the drone up this river, which I'll give you a look now. So if you want to stay here, I'll put the link in the description for the hotel. But, oh look, puppy dog. Well, how are you? He's only got one leg, the poor guy. He's only got one leg, I know. He has, he's only got one leg. He's happy. So far, this town reminds me of um, of Byron Bay. I'm sure um, all the Australians watching are familiar with Byron Bay. Um, yeah, it's all about peace and love and vegetarian and vegan, if you know what I mean. Um, which is okay, which is good. But yeah, there's a lot of expats here. And I think most of them are on magic mushrooms. That's okay, though. Uh, plaster board that we're gonna start off with. So we've got some, um, we some cold cuts, some cheeses, some fruits. So that looks good, mainly fruits. Some uh, tomato pasta there. That looks good, Good. Yeah, nice. Tomato pasta. It's a pumpkin soup. Some got the pork tenderloin with um, with peppercorn creamy sauce, vegetables. That looks good. So that's that looks really good. And um, Joe got another burger. What's that all about? <laughs> Enjoy it while you How's can. It look? Yeah. So when um when I'm home, I have to eat Thai food all the oh, time. Oh yeah. So you get <laughs> so you get your, your Western food fixed now. Yeah. It's not all that bad. It's not too big. Yeah. Australian beef. No. Thai beef. Thai beef. You never know. It could be good. Thai beef for you. <laughs> and I've got the um I've got the Australian ribeye. So that looks good. That looks very good. That looks alright. That looks alright, mate, doesn't it? Fucking like eight. <laughs>